Halloween 2012. <laughs> and welcome to the Sam Livecast. In a dress. I know what you're thinking. I know you think this looks a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But it isn't ridiculous. Ridiculous? <laughs> I think this the is, word is sexy. This is a serious <laughs> piece of culinary clothing. When I was in Hong Kong, uh, the first time, I was a, uh, an invited judge at the Best of Hong Kong uh, Culinary Festival. It was held at the uh, Chinese Cuisine Training Institute. And while we were there, the, the young apprentices at the Chinese Cuisine Training Institute outside of Hong Kong wore these. Look at here, check this out. Just to show you how legit that is. Wow. That's, yeah, it's pretty legit. No, I know. That is pretty you damn cool. It's, it's weird looking because of the length of it, especially when, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing shorts <laughs> underneath. And just the way the thing like ties on the side, mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's kind of whack. Is it traditional? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I've never been in a, really in a Chinese kitchen. That's gotta be No, it. I have been in a Chinese kitchen. And they wore, they wear like uh, traditional chef jackets and things. I think it was the apprentices that were in these. Okay, that was, sorry. So that was more of my question. Do yeah, you think I think that's, for yeah, them, I, at least that, at this place. So maybe that's more traditional for Chinese culinary yeah. students. I, I think the point is, uh -huh. uh, you know, learn from me, grasshopper, which it was Japanese and not the same <laughs> thing, but learn. And while you're learning, we're going to make sure that you feel like you're the lowest level of chef <laughs> anywhere by making you wear a bright neon green dress like thing that ties in the back <laughs> and has a it's ribbed here or something. I don't get it's it. It's too bad but they don't do that in every industry. But it's kind of badass, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe we should make Lynn wear a dress yeah. from now on. In <laughs> some weird way. It, it looks like like samurai armor. Or something. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. It's samurai cooking armor. All right, so I promised a shot. So here's what this is going to be. Welcome to the Sam Livecast, yeah, welcome to the by Sam the way. Livecast. It's Halloween. Happy Thank you for Join being us here. on Facebook. Join interact. Facebook, and we might, yes. if we're lucky, we might have some trick-or-treaters right in that door down there. So Yeah, if we hope that we do. How and many have we had so far? We've had like eight already. Oh, wait, already. and also yeah. ex really quickly before you get into the drink that you're going to make, explain uh, the tally that we have running. Can I do that when I sit down? Go for it, yeah. Thank you. I want to get the shot. So here's what we're making. <laughs> We're making, <laughs> we're making a, a Halloween shot that's going to be this. It's two parts. And if we pour this right, it's going to look really great in here. So this is, you know, I like Clamato juice. It's my favorite thing. When I mix in, you know, tomato -y juice kind of things. So we want a little bit of, a little bit of seasoning to this. Sort of like you were getting ready to make like a Bloody Mary. So I'll do a simple one, right? A little Cholula, some salt. By the way, happy Halloween, everybody, if, yeah, you know, yeah, if yeah. we haven't said it. Uh, and a little Worcester. And so we'll, we'll just stop there. You can do this as simply or as complicated as you like. And I want this one to be fairly simple. You know something that I've noticed today? Yeah. There is a lot of enthusiasm for Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Obviously. Well, just well, look at me. What do you mean, obviously? Why do you look say at, obviously? Uh, wait, just look at her. Uh, what is she get? Foxy I Brown? Kelly. <laughs> 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 you're not Donna Summer? I don't, Kelly, I don't you know. look awesome. <laughs> Wait, Kelly, are you still pregnant? No, well, it's no. here right now. <laughs> oh, that was what it <laughs> That's was the earlier. the second half it was of the, the show. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so check this out. So we have two components. We have the red and we have the black. So to the vodka, I'm going to add a few drops of black food coloring. It doesn't take very much. Cool. Put the lid on. Hey, I vaguely remember doing this last Halloween. I yeah. think we did it. And yeah. I had to do it again because I love it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So look, uh, Sam the Cooking Guy shot glasses that I'll turn around so that the etched label doesn't interfere with what we're doing. Too much. Right? So you got a little shot here. They're like, I don't know, like mini bloody, mini bloody shots. Something different to pull out for your Halloween party. Right. And so now here's what you do. Now, over the back of a spoon, you gently put this in. You don't have to do it in the squeeze bottle, but it makes the whole thing cool. keep from, from uh, pouring in too much. So that helps it float a little more, right? Yeah, it does. It that's just so it, cool. it delivers it yeah, gently. Yeah, that's really to the thing, cool. Right? Uh, oh, and perfect. why this works is because the Clamato juice concoction is definitely heavier. 
in molecular weight. Is that the right word? I don't know. I don't think that's the right word. <laughs> it's, it's definitely heavier than the vodka thing. So a little bit more on top. Where did you find this recipe that's or cool. did you make it? Yeah, I did this years ago on the show. Oh, cool. And I loved it. And look how badass looking it is. It goes with my Chinese cooking institute badass <laughs> outfit. Just don't, <laughs> yeah. just don't spill. That's <laughs> that green's a little blinding, but. Yeah, it's a little blinding. So you could do this. You could try and sit properly so you just get one down. Let's see. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> You're digging it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that one, second one's for you. <laughs> what about the rest of us? Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them all. <laughs> we don't have time for that. We have to all sit down now. Okay, that's something that you can do. And you don't have to do it here just for Halloween. Imagine if it was um, Easter. I have no idea what the Easter color combination thing would be. What could it be? More pastel, I guess. What, what, what could you, would you, you, you wouldn't use, um, you, you wouldn't use red for Easter. You would use yellow use and green. The, the green you're wearing would be perfect, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a comment on all of us, Jeff, to dress in oh, our yes. chef's okay, garb so today? Oh, yes. Okay, so here we are. Yes. So, boys in the back, uh -huh. uh, Lynn's wearing a, uh, a crimson red chef jacket. He's yeah. got a, uh, one of those little chef spatulas in his pocket. And uh, what's the, the little thing I can't see? Thermometer? It's my tasting spoon. Tasting spoon. Nice job. I just Max. didn't know what to put there. So. <laughs> Uh, it could be that. It could be a, you know, that's what they do. Or they put... Uh, or it could be a, a whisk. whisk. See, a you know, I was going to get a whisk, but it wouldn't fit in these little pockets, so... Yeah, I mean, and you obviously copied my idea, so... Max is, Max is wearing a, uh, a chef jacket from the uh, USS Ronald Reagan. I am. Yes, I am. So that's, I'm a Navy uh, chef today. That was given to me when I was there. Mm -hmm. Kelly, we, sh we showed your flight jacket. Kelly is Foxy Brown. Obviously. <laughs> Look at you. I mean, come on. <laughs> I love a wig. If I, want, I could, if I could bring back wigs and wear them for real, okay. I would. It's that reminds me. You, wait, Kel. just let me say this. Let me interrupt for a second. Yes. That, leave mom there. That reminds me of something that I wanted to try. I want people to go get a pair of sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything with them yet. Just get a pair of sunglasses. Somebody remind me sunglasses five minutes from now, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try a little experiment. Just go get yourself a pair of sunglasses. Everybody go get your sunglasses right now. And Shannon you is a... people at home, right? Shannon is a red-headed hot little devil girl. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's Who's get bad to the oh, bone. Look at her. Yeah, I like it. Who nice does Shannon. not look anything like Shannon. No, no. That, that is... I thought it was... Like the straight hair? Even though <laughs> she is a redhead. But it's not this red. No, no. not like that red. <laughs> but see, what's interesting is that think. women can do this. Right? Shannon with the red wig... Uh, Kelly with the uh, with the uh, the crazy afro thing over there, you work with somebody that wears that out, right? Hang on, give her a minute to realize that we're talking <laughs> to her and the yeah. show's going on right now. What are you doing? I've got a few things going. Uh, maybe on right we now. should take away her <laughs> phone. Ahead. Yeah, we should take away oh, her phone. Brown over there. So that's Jenny's, right? Yes, Mr. Zion. That's Jenny's, right? <laughs> yeah. Does Jenny wear that like out? No, no, no. It, oh. This is for. They're young girls. They do costume things. But, but girls time. can do that. Girls wear wigs these days, yeah. right? Well, no, they don't wear wigs. They wear extensions. extensions. Extensions and stuff. But it's just to make your own hair prettier, longer, fuller. Mm -hmm. You don't, like, do this kind of thing. You wouldn't do that? I, this is what I want to do. I want to wear, like, a platinum bob. I want to wear black straight, like, share with bangs. <laughs> but don't some women, <laughs> don't some, I'm, I'm sure some, don't some, wow, those two shots made me hot all of a sudden. Uh, <laughs> don't some women do that though? They just change their shit up all the time. Well, yeah, okay, like Lady Gaga. Uh, Beyonce. Yeah. And what's the other one? Lady That's, Gaga. Lady, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I, so that would be really embarrassing. That's why I would never do that. People are like, who does she think she is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would be that weird. I mean, I think, I think it's actually cool that you can do that. I like that you can change up your hair. I like that one day you're a brunette and the next day, not that you would do this, but the next day, Maria that we know and love from fixtures. That's one day, one saying. day she's uh, 
She's uh, blonde, and the next day she's dirty blonde, and then she's brunette. Whatever. Well, wait, that is the truth. When wait, that's actually. bad. For, is <laughs> it <laughs> bad for your hair? No, no, wait, well, let's no, ask. No, no, Kel. we're talking about. We're, well, we're talking about wigs. wigs like yeah. tomorrow. Maria like, doesn't would, wear. No, wigs, Maria though. doesn't wear no. wigs. Okay. But yeah, but Max just bad. said, "Isn't that bad?" For uh, dyeing your hair, your hair consistently yes. isn't that not bad? Yes. To okay. mess around with your color. Got it. Um, you should stop dyeing your hair brown, Dad. I mean, just let the natural gray come out. <laughs> it's there. It's you there. guys should people see him now. Me. He's a silver people fox, really. Me. But he, every week he dyes his hair brown. Shut so up. people think I dye my my <laughs> hair now. I have my father's jeans. You know Anderson Cooper? Wait, that's what it's. I don't. Natural li- hair I don't. Yeah, you look like you wear wait, your father's jeans. Li- I don't <laughs> literally have my father's jeans. <laughs> I don't wear dad jeans like that. <laughs> my dad got to that point. May he rest in peace. My dad got to that point where he was wearing a color of denim that does not exist in real life. I, no, you can only get it if you walk into a store and, and some technical laser system recognizes that you're over 75. <laughs> Honey, it's, it's a it's color that I have never seen before. It's called chambray. It's like a legit. And then you wear, <laughs> so you get that weird color jean, and then those, they're not sneakers. They're beige. Yeah. They're like rubber sensible wa- rubber walking shoes <laughs> for, for elderly men. Orthotics. And that was my dad's. Oh, oh, oh hold on. We've got oh. some. We've got, we got some. We've got some, Betty. Okay. They're going to be so disappointed. Chips. I know. Chips for lunch. Hey. I'm not trick or treating. No, you're oh, not. Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm actually, we bought the house next door. <laughs> you're, wait, you're Mrs. Josh. I am. I'm, I'm Jennifer. Oh, no. I, hey, Jennifer, Hi. Sam. Nice to meet you. And I don't always dress like this. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh my God, I'm embarrassing. <laughs> so. Um, just, I, I just have to, as a word of warning. Yes. We're shooting an internet show right now. Hi. We do weeknight. Oh, so oh, okay. so okay. Anything. Wait, wait, you want to come in and no, talk? No, no. no. <laughs> but they can hear you. Okay, I just have a really quick question. Yeah. So um, the Ashers are gone. Yes. My realtor's not answering the phone at all today. The Ashers yeah. are not. Their realtors are not. And the place is locked up. Should like we turn the mic down? And I'm just wondering <laughs> if at any point in being their neighbor, they ever gave you an extra key. They yeah, didn't. Maybe. But do this. Come on in. No, Come no, on no, in. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. I'll no, leave her, no, Dad. Right. Next door in the you don't have so 10. Sandy, wait, I'm if you've got 10 babies, we have to talk. We were not told about 10 babies. But okay. I'm going to call Nancy and Ke- have her come meet her. Ke- okay, here's what we're going to do. Ke- Nancy. I'm too embarrassed Nancy. to come around the corner. In that's right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kelly, Kelly is, gonna, is calling oh, Nancy right now. In case people didn't think this was live. I know. <laughs> if there's anybody out there who <laughs> doesn't realize it, you. this yeah. is filmed yeah. in the house live. If you had any doubt. No real children yeah. answering. The ashers are gone. The place is locked up. Really? He's like, uh. Oh and you okay, went to. Tr- yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let yeah, them do that. That's a private conversation. We'll let them do their thing. So. In the meantime, we'll come back to the cool people. Hello, hey, everybody. You, so, Max, you did you find any, like... Did I find any what? Embarrassing photos of your dad? No, that's what I was... I For those who out there are wondering, I one of the first things I asked when I came in here was, um, does my dad have any stories from years past? There are some embarrassing Halloween pictures uh, from when he was a kid, and unfortunately, he doesn't have anything, so... <laughs> now we're just here without that. Apparently only when he's an adult. Yeah, so. he made up for that in our yeah, show. And he co- and he kind of just completely bailed on us. So hey, He's being a yeah. good neighbor. It's all good. Okay. He's like gone. Oh, yeah. So I guess for anybody who also doesn't know, <laughs> my parents live in a house like this. And on either side of them, both houses got sold. So, um... Yeah, that's it. Maybe we should go to Facebook. That's something that I would like to do. <laughs> oh, God. I just went to see Lynn's computer. And he had a fantastic picture up. And uh, this is it, everybody. Oh. <laughs> it's my screensaver. <laughs> that's the screensaver. Yeah, it, it flips between this, this, <laughs> oh Dr. Phil. Oh, my God. Okay, so I didn't, at least <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have the embarrassing pictures, but Lynn did. So we're good. And Paula Dean. I love Jeez. shooting those shows. I just <laughs> laughed so hard the entire time. Like, it was so hard to keep, like, the camera steady. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you need proof that the dogs, that my dad is their leader, look. Oh, they yeah. were just sitting there waiting for him. I'm back. <laughs> Good I'm really so surprised to see an adult woman at the door. Nancy was going out. Did my thing oh, fall? Sam, while well, you're over there, tell him what you're doing. Oh. So here's the deal. Because... When I said we were going to give out chips the other day, everybody thought it was a bad idea. I said, let's do a test. 
I'll offer chips, and I'll offer a traditional uh, Halloween candy, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. We'll put them both out. We will not direct them <laughs> towards either bowl. Choose one. You can have one from either bowl. We're keeping a tally. So far, it's even. Four to four. But we've only had one door ring. <laughs> That's true. Maybe I know. What happened, to, what happened to trick-or-treating? We don't have a lot of kids here, man. We used to. This house used to be full of kids. I feel like my mic. Well, this street used to be full of kids. Sit, sit down and adjust. I'll turn it off. Oh, yeah. Just use your... Looks like you're adjusting something else down there, man. <laughs> yes, yeah. No, my, 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 my... Is our new neighbor nice? I'm yeah. so mad I wanted to come meet her in the worst way, and I thought... Jennifer, oh, I she seems really nice. I walk around the corner, nice. it's Foxy Brown. She's going to go, whoa. <laughs> it's Halloween. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I've got like 10 kids wait, next door. Wait, can we door. just discuss something really quickly? Yeah, sure. she said she had three babies. Does that mean no. that you just got neighbors that have three babies? No, they have a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. Oh, so yeah, that's totally doable. Max, that oh. was you and your brothers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I bet every all the other neighbors who had older children that are gone felt very good about it when you guys moved in. Hey, do we have sunglasses? <laughs> the, the, we are. No, you we, guys don't. But do people have on Facebook? Are you asking? I for told Facebook? people to get. And I told people to get sunglasses. And I, I don't, I'm confused if you're asking us or the people on Facebook. The people watching. People on Facebook. I said, go get a pair of sunglasses. They already have a pair of sunglasses. And it reminded me because Kelly's wearing sunglasses. So here's the thing. You well, should, you wait. should put your sunglasses on. Uh-huh. I'm watching TV the other day. I can't remember what show it was. Is it an interview show? And some like actor. Oh, trick or treaters! I trick hope or it's trick or treaters. Wow. Oh, I'm yeah, gonna, gonna be. This is gonna be the longest show yeah, ever. Yeah, you have to do it so embarrassing like that. No. Dressed and the candy. In a dress. Or and the not the candy. Hello. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. What's up, guys? Hello. Hello. How is everybody? Okay. <laughs> oh, We're running an experiment <laughs> tonight. You can choose from either bowl. Think about it carefully. One <laughs> <laughs> Reese's. They just want their snack juice. Yeah. You better be Warren honest. Chips. Leave them alone. You better be freaking honest, Ed. Two Reese's. Okay. We're even. Here we go. This one's going to determine. Two Reese's, two chips, and he's going for. Reese's. Woo! Reese's. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> good, oh, doing? yeah. That's what Thanks I'm talking guys, about. I like it. Hey, wait. Tell us what costumes we have. Who's your dad? I do know your dad. Yeah. This is not your neighborhood. No, I'm, I'm with him. You're slumming. <laughs> All right. See you guys. <laughs> you bet. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I got him. Sorry. Sorry. I have to do this. You're going to. One, two, three. So Reese's are up by one. One, two. They Reese's are. are up by one. No, actually, it just put them at the same point. I don't know why, but. So see how surprising that is. Everybody thought that the kids were going to think that the chips sucked. And the chips don't suck. Can well, we if you hate peanut butter, you're going to take chips. So there's just no variety. Put your sunglasses on. <laughs> can you see everything really well, Kel? No, I keep on like pulling them no, down. No, and neither can I. It'll wreck my costume. I don't understand how these people walk around <laughs> in their daily life as entertainers and singers wearing sunglasses the whole time just because <laughs> they don't want people to see their eyes. Maybe you get used to it. Like, what am I looking at right now? Nobody knows, right? No. I'm looking at Shannon's breasts. And you can't even <laughs> tell because she's over there. Is that why they do this? He's trying to read your chest. <laughs> maybe maybe they a, have two-way glass. Like, you know, when you interrogate somebody and they have special made sunglasses. No, so they, they just don't care. Oh, my God. Out? They just Wait, don't care. can I just say something? Is it? I Listen, I, I have had friends in the past speak of the benefits yes. of having glasses that you can't see into. Yes. The benefits of being able to scope as right. you're cruising around I have a the mall or at school or anything. I <laughs> yeah. swear to God, I've heard that. I know this guy. No, I, <laughs> God, it's Max. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't get it. And I was watching this thing the other day. I'm like, why, dude? Why do you do that? Is it to be? Is it to be cool? Is it so that they can't see your eyes, or is it both? It's both. cool, it's obviously. Both. Both. Is it just Look a cool me. thing? I'm Look at you. Foxy, Foxy Brown, Brown, of course. Yeah. It's so obvious I am wearing these. By the way, I want you to leave that whole thing on later. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> when the show ends, don't you take that off. That's working for me. 
correct. <laughs> By the way, I got my IFB back. If you don't know what it is, it's this little, nobody knows what it stands for. Inner, in, inner, Shannon? Interruptible feedback. Interruptible feedback. It's this little thing that you wear in your ear. Uh, I've been wearing like a, like a, uh, an iPhone headphone thing, little uh, earbud, because it's been broken. But you don't really see it. When you look straight on at this or, or anchors or stuff on TV, you don't see this because it the color matches with my ear and and uh it's all clear and stuff and it fits and i got it back it was broken i'm so glad to have it back who fixed it shannon no i got a new one i suggested oh. the the little piece in it? back that they the, oh, I, got I just it. replaced that got it right i have some pictures to share with us tonight really should yeah. i be excited <laughs> i know should we be scared uh, no or? you shouldn't be scared give me one second just to make sure i got them all ready and so okay so now look we've not talked about what's going on back east we've not oh, talked man. about the weather we've not talked about the devastation i did see a post on my facebook the other day that a guy wrote and he said um i'm paraphrasing i don't have it exactly people are dying uh and everything's terrible back east and you're promoting your fucking live cast oh that was on twitter that was on twitter yeah what? wow and i thought you know what man um if this is life life happens it goes on because we're continuing to do what we normally do here in san diego that hasn't been affected doesn't mean for one second that we do not share the pain with the people that are going through terrible stuff back there. Uh, it's it's like an agenda thing. It's like you if they're not agreeing with your current like state exactly. of mind or your agenda, all of a sudden it's like I have a right to yeah hide yeah, behind I have my internet right. self. And you, and you know what? I wanted to do this. I wanted to write back and say my dad died seven months ago. Did mm -hmm. you take the day off? Yeah. Right. Can I just uh, point one thing out really yeah. quickly? Yeah. The guy hashtagged San Diego Canadian ass. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. San Diego Canadian ass. Do you I think that has ever been hashtagged before? We'll, I we'll check right now. Wow. Hit that list. I'm just going to click it, see what happens. I that, watch, click it. All click it. No, 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 that's it. That's it. That's, that's the only one. one. None, yeah. Oh, that is so that mean. That is so Earth funny. Earth zebra or whatever you're doing. Can you is. believe that? Wow. No, that's a really. Oh, that's unbelievable. Anyway. That aside, and the devastation, and we all, our heart breaks. Yeah, There's no familiar. way that, you know, if you're even a halfway normal person, that you can't be affected somehow by what has gone on. Mm -hmm. You feel terrible for right. it. Of course. You'd have to be a complete psychopath to not care. And we all saw those pictures of that crane, right? Yes. yes. Chink, the, the thing that went down and bent. So I was looking for the picture of it. Kelly said to me, we talk about a thousand times a day on the phone. She goes, oh my God, I saw the crane. And I go, what crane? I hadn't seen it yet. So now I Google crane, right? Uh -huh. I eventually find the picture, but the first picture that comes up is this one. Take a look. Oh, shit. Nope, okay. there you go. Look at that. Oh, uh, that is out of control. Wow. Okay, that's out of control. Obviously, a better weather. Those guys at the end of a crane, look at this. There it is. Look where they are. What? It's like they're standing on a sidewalk. I, I, it's I, I mean, crazy. can you believe that these guys do that? I don't even... You think they get hazard pay? And they sit and have their lunches out there, they too, their lunch, don't they? Because they can't come down to the <laughs> ground because it takes too long. Wait, no, no, no. So Lynn just said something. Hazard pay. They oh. have to, right? Oh, yeah. They have oh, to get huge bonuses for putting their life on the line like that's that, right? That's interesting. I don't know. Well, okay. So maybe uh, I'd assume that maybe it would be something similar to like maybe coal miners get the same type of thing. Right. Or maybe it's just worked into their salaries because it's a, it's a very uh, dangerous occupation. No, there's, there's like people that fix antennas like, you know, way high up in the sky. That's I, I'm sure they get plenty insanity. of hazard pay. That's yeah. like the modern version of, remember that old fashioned photo where they're first building New Where York? They're, si they're sitting yeah, on a, on a, on a, a girder yeah. having mm -hmm. their lunch. Yeah. Yes. It's like the modern version of that. That's exactly I, what I, I I'm thought. I'm not that. even, I'm not even particularly afraid of frights, but uh, afraid frights. of heights, frights. but that would just be too much oh, for yeah. me. Right. Okay, and this has nothing to do with any of this stuff. I just saw this fall picture, and I went, I just have to show that because mm. we don't have that here. Nope. 
So I don't know what part I of the country that. that is in. I know. That could be Ohio. That could be, but it looks like it's... Um, okay, so when I went to... My freshman year of college, I went to the East Coast for school. I went out to school outside of Toronto to a school called University of Western Ontario. And uh, one time for like a, a long weekend, we did a road trip from London, Ontario up to Montreal, Quebec. And we went right through this kind of this, country the whole way. And it was during October that we were making that trip. I've and. I had never seen anything like that in my entire life. It was unbelievable. No, it's, I mean, that's just, I mean, I wish we had that here. We don't get that. We've got to have you know, some live Nancy, casters look, out there that can show us some cool pictures Na- like that. Nancy's trees across the street get, get a little color on Yeah. Them. But, but there's nothing drastic. And by the way, if you're wearing a costume right now that's worthy of taking a picture of and, and putting on Facebook, do that. We'd love to see what you're wearing. Can oh, I yeah. give you a great pose? I mean, nobody's going to be wearing anything as exciting as the Chinese Cuisine Training <laughs> Institute <laughs> novice outfit, but yes, go ahead. Suzanne Sun, we're going to love her. She goes, hey, I'm an East Coaster, and I'm thankful that you can light my mood and make me laugh. Normalcy can be a great comfort. Screw that hater. Yay. Yeah, you're right. Thank like you, that. Suzanne. Thank you, Suzanne. That's right. All right, I got to jump in the kitchen just for... Uh, I don't know if we're officially cooking now. <laughs> we could officially cook. We, let's officially cook. Yeah, let's why officially not? cook. Why not? Uh, but before we get there, Fixers Living here in San Diego, Costa Mesa, and Rancho Mirage. Say, if you paid attention to what I just said, I just, I just laid out three locations. And I don't know that, that the actual numbers are out yet, but just know that it won't be three for very long. Is it me? Can, can oh, I'll work trick or treaters. Who's going to do it? Oh, Lynn's got it. Lynn's got it. Don't forget to mark the list, Lynn. Shannon, get a shot of that. Let's see what's going on over there. Oh, so <laughs> cute. Right now, they're like this. Oh, my God. I have never seen a bigger guy. He is guy so tall. <laughs> oh, look how cute he is. Wait, should we try and scare some kids and get it on film? No. Oh, that'd be really no. funny. <laughs> Come on, please. Lynn, what'd they take? One on one. Oh, Damn oh. it. Oh, who's the oh, cute? No, he's gonna who's be there all night. Who's the cute mom? <laughs> Max, stop it. Oh, sh- sorry, Max. Ex nail uh, the cute mom. We all heard. We know Max. Mom. <laughs> we know what's in your wheelhouse. Hey, you I have a girlfriend. If you don't remember, right, I'm not saying. <laughs> hey, just because you're on a diet doesn't mean you can't look at the menu. Oh, look at the baby. <laughs> They're gonna choose. Watch the parents gonna choose. It's gonna throw it up. They took uh, a can. That's okay. All right, that's cute. They're like, right now, they're like, what the hell are we on? Why is there a girl there with a the camera? <laughs> Thank you. So what cute. what are I your know. numbers, Lynn? Two and two. Wow. Two and two. There you go. It, it's it. showing that I was not wrong about this. Ugh. My instincts are not all that I'd say, up. though, if you had replaced the chips with Slim Jims, Slim Jims would be going all right. down. By the way, by the way, Fixtures Living is ready, poised, on the edge of taking over North America. And I'm just telling UGC. you, you <laughs> cannot do what they're doing without amazing things happening. And you only have to know, if you knew nothing else about the store, but you knew that they were poised to take over North America, <laughs> you would say to yourself, wow, holy shit, something has to be going on really special there. Mm-hmm. And it is. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy, that's what they do. And their stuff is amazing and their people or one of my favorite parts of that organization because nobody is like an icky used, I don't even want to say used car salesman because I think <laughs> my experiences with people that have sold this stuff have been worse than that. Mm. These are people that have knowledge. They understand how you want to cook and that's what their goal is or how you want to live. Then they help you figure out your stuff. Mm-hmm. They don't just say, what do you want to buy? Say, how do you want to live? What do you like to do in your kitchen? That's the question to ask. Mm-hmm. That's Fixtures Living. Online, fixtureslivingcom on the Facebook. Uh-huh. Facebook.com forward slash Fixtures Living. And for all those people who are not in California or in a Fixtures Living area and you can't support the show by going into the store, I want you to go to the Facebook page, like it right on their wall and tell them that we sent you. That's right. All right? I have questions about my mic here. Something feels kind of creepy in my oh, that's midsection. Oh, that's your great. Ninja Turtle chest. Okay, ready? Let's go do some stuff. Here we go. Hey, let's go. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to make a uh, pasta thing tonight. But before I do, 
pasta thing? How pasta about you thing. elaborate a little? <laughs> I, I will. But here's what I wanted to do. I, wanted, I went to the store, and so I get the ingredients for the pasta thing. And then I say, oh, I'll go get like a, lo like a baguette or a ciabatta loaf or something because I want to do uh, something fun with it, right? Just cut it and have it with the pasta. Because if there's anything you need when you have a high-carb meal like pasta, it's more carbs in bread. The two of them just sort of go together. And then I thought, no, maybe we could do something else. So, of course, I wander over to the... I wander over to the, the dairy section where these big guys are, these grands, right? Which we've used for many other things. Which we've used for many other things. And then I thought, well, what if we did mini grands, right? Not this size. Nobody move, nobody move. Watch. Oh shit, that's not working. You need flour. Oh, I don't want to use flour. Here's what I want to do. But I need, now I need a little tiny, oh. Okay, while you're searching, I need to give a shout out to a first time live viewer, Lara Proenza. What's up? Just want to say super excited. My husband and I are watching the live cast live for the first time tonight after having a marathon of the show yesterday. Oh, nice. And even happier, I'm watching the show. Lara, I'm glad that you haven't gotten so sick of us by now that you can watch the show live. So thank you for being here. Well, and she her husband, Chris. Yeah, you, both of you guys. She we wouldn't get sick it. of me. She might get sick of you guys. So look at here's the idea. I wanted to make little ones. I don't know why. I just like the idea of making little ones, and I probably should have done this. Holy shit, I just got a really cool piece of information from Guy Davis, too, on Facebook. Yeah. It says, hello, livecasters, I'm late. Guys on the Crane make six figures. Oh, I can see that. See, How I can see awesome that. No, that? I can see that. Yeah. That's worth it. Those guys put their life on the line. That is huge. Well, it's interesting, you know, I mean, when I was at the biotech company, uh, the workers' comp insurance rates that we paid are based on the danger level of the job. And believe it or not, like a guy working in a warehouse, his, I might get this wrong, but it's going to be pretty close. A guy working in a warehouse, mm -hmm. his workers' comp rates are less expensive for the company to pay than the person who is an administrative assistant in the office. Wow. Because there's all kinds of office things that cause problems. Really? Carpal tunnel. Really? Wow. Paper cuts. Asbestos. Shredder <laughs> accidents. I don't know, but it's crazy stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Really? So I don't know that this is the best thing to do with these, but I just like the idea of making something small. And I can see Lynn eating about 40 of these right after the live cast. Uh, I've got water boiling. I can start, just let me get, these have just got to get in the oven. I'm just going to do, this is the last one. I'm sorry if you're bored. My foxy hair is getting really hot. <laughs> I might have to go upstairs. <laughs> no, seriously? It's hot. You can't handle it? Shannon, is yours hot? I might have I've to. had this on all day, and you know how much hair I have normally. So I have all right. my normal hair stuffed under th oh this thing. Oh my god! I feel like Menopause. I have like a wool, a wool hat on. <laughs> I'm going to my second costume. Did you not hear me? No. Yes, I heard you. Menopause, mom. <laughs> oh, Shannon, you're good. I think, but it's <laughs> yeah, my mother that needs to. <laughs> <laughs> well, Max, that's really nice of you. No, she used to go through her heat flashes. We all remember. That was all on the live cast. We don't hide anything from our live casters. Apparently not. <laughs> okay, there we go, right? Uh, in the oven, 350. That's that. All right, I got water boiling here. I've got white bean chicken chili on the back because that's what we make every Halloween. It's our traditional oh, cool. Halloween thing that we absolutely love. Yeah, somebody actually uh, threw that up on, on uh, Facebook today. It was a picture of your, that recipe in your book. Oh, it was? Yep. That's nice. That makes me happy. That's, you, that, that's what you made for the finale of the cooking competition, didn't you? For everybody to eat? Yes. But see, now I could do something with this, and I'm not. I feel bad about that. That's wasteful. But I... I uh, where am I getting? Wow, this that? is a cool one that so you'll like. Oh Alex Herman. What are you doing? Oh my God, <laughs> Kelly. Oh, jeez. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> Kelly, you remember? I do remember. I don't want to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right, so check this out. So here's what we're doing. Uh, what are we doing? I'm doing this. I'm doing this. 
Pumpkin. It's Halloween, so we have to do something with pumpkin, right? And I thought I had some onion. I was going to throw some onion in here, but apparently I'm not. Hey, just to hop to Facebook again, Alex Herman just ordered your book, Just Girl This, all the way to Guadalajara. Really? Yeah, cool, huh? Wow. Says now he just needs to get the other two and travel to SD to get them signed. Wow. Well, we'll figure out. I'll come to him. Oh. Hey, we've been down there, actually. Club Med. Yellow, uh, yellow onion. I just, uh, now I just really want to throw some of this in, just for a little bit of extra flavor. Uh, it's a live cooking show, so if, um, if you're bored, uh, don't be. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a live cooking show. And so hey, just oil. a reminder for anybody who missed it, we had Chef Marcella Valladolid on the show last night from the Food Network, Mexican Made Easy. So you can always go to samlivecast.com. Check out all of the archived episodes, and we've done over 200 of them. So, like that other person who said that they did a marathon, yeah, go ahead and do as many marathons as you guys want. By the way, it uh, was not last night; it was Monday night, and it's Valladolid. Sorry, she was so good. I actually would even rewatch that show. Yeah, yeah we love her. She's awesome. Thanks for coming, Marcella. Okay. Uh, clean as you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's super important. Well, it's just easier. I mean, I suppose it's not important. It's definitely easier, right? And if you don't clean as you go, you clean at the end, and that's a pain in the ass. There's always time. While this onion right now is getting soft in here, I can take two seconds to do this. All right. Water boiling, right there. Look what I'm cooking. I'm making something called, uh, here's the plan. The plan for tonight is I was gonna make a tortellini in a pumpkin cream sauce, because I wanted to use pumpkin. And sage, I'll throw some sage in. So I go to the store just to buy tortellini, because I'm not gonna make my own. And I find this thing called borsetti, and these are brie and ricotta with roasted garlic. But look at them. I, I'm going to guess that borsetti in, a, in Italian means little purse or little purse like <laughs> thing because that's what it looks like, right? Okay, so the onions are almost there. I'm going to throw some sage in because I like sage and I think this is a very, you know, wintry kind of thing. So we'll crumble up some sage in here. Not with this giant stem of a piece of stuff. Take this out. Mm. Sam, what did you do in your arm? Oh, here? Mm-hmm. Haley. Haley. We've been, we've been wrestling lately, and she got me twice. <laughs> we've been wrestling. Good job, Haley. Okay, so check this out. So watch how easy a cream sauce is to make. We're going to pour, I don't know. A bunch of this in here. What's going to happen as the cream uh, heats and simmers, it's going to start to thicken naturally by itself. The liquid will evaporate. It will start to thicken. That's what happens when you do stuff like this. Sam, it's great. What, what size pan is that? Big. Like if you want to buy one, where would you find that? I need a piece of paper. Here's a piece of paper. So this is eight and a half by 11, 11. It's about oh, 12, it's even bigger. 13. No, no, no. 11, that's maybe 15 inches. Oh, wow. That's a big pan. I don't use it all that often, but I like it. But so nail the other part of this. Remember I said pumpkin? I'm trying to use as few ingredients as we can. Can I show the live, oh, sorry, go. Uh, so I now need to stir in some of this. And this is just straight pumpkin mm. uh, uh, out of a can. Yeah, right? that's what I use for my pumpkin pie. Nice. I made pumpkin pancakes last week and they were so good. Oh, were they good? Mm-hmm. Okay, that should be enough. Let me just get a, a, a whisk that's not here. Good. Don't you hate it when you can't find what you want? Where the hell is my whisk? 
Max oh didn't my take god, it. Max has it. Max took it. Fuck, oh, oh, he's got it in his arm. Can I have my whisk oh. back? Is this it? Is this the whisk you're looking <laughs> yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, can you just bring it? <laughs> All right. No, I don't want it now. <laughs> I got it. I don't need you. Where the hell is my whisk? I hear that often, believe it or not, people. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want to show everybody who, uh, which livecaster has accused kids of the night. Oh. Dennis Worcester takes the cake. How cute is Let's that? Let's see. Oh, oh those are cute kids. Dorothy. <laughs> we got a warrior, we got an X-Men, and Dorothy, exactly. Cute. Did any, anybody have any idea when I put those uh, little bread things in there? Uh, <laughs> um, Five no. Five minutes ago. Uh, five? How is it? How is it? It's good. Uh, it needs seasoning for sure because it really hasn't had anything yet. So that's pepper. The other thing it's going to get in a couple minutes is going to be some cheese to help thicken it up. You need some nutmeg and cinnamon. Stop it. Oh, I know <laughs> what I need. Uh, I need some. I like the idea of something a little crunchy on top. And I, you know what? I wasn't going to do the pumpkin thing for just the seeds. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to buy a pumpkin and yank out the seeds, and dry them, and then do the whole thing. Uh, and I went to the store looking for pumpkin seeds, and you just can't find them. Maybe I got a bad store, but I thought you oh, could buy. I thought you could buy pumpkin seeds. No. You can't. Remember, you made that pumpkin soup that one year, and you actually put the seeds on top. Yeah, I don't know where. Oh, I you did those myself. Them. There's oh, these. Great I didn't bags see them. At Jimbo's that are amazing. Oh, they are. Okay. So here's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to I'm just going to heat up and toast some of these uh, pieces of uh, pecan mm. a little bit. Mm. Okay, this is getting nice. I think the um, this water's ready. That's good. That's happening. This and is how good. unbelievable is this? They've postponed Halloween back east. Crazy. Yeah, like literally postponed it so that the kids don't get gypped. <laughs> That's awesome. Wouldn't you think that all the parents would be happy and just really let it go away? You're going to be like, a oh, really good parent, man. Oh, it's just, oh, oh my God. We're so, so sorry, ch kids, yeah, but Grinch? it's gone this year. We don't have any Halloween at the, the Hurricane Sandy. Wait, Kelly, when did they postpone it If you celebrated Christmas, you'd be the Grinch. Kelly, when did, right. they, when did they Uh, Next postpone it Saturday. Saturday. Wow. Well, for Diane, next Saturday. Next Saturday means, does that mean this Saturday? This Saturday and or next Monday. Depends where you You have your are. choice? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it's, it's ever changing. I just wanted to let everybody know that uh, next Monday will be our election special where we will delve into all the policies and politics of this. <laughs> Two thought I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's going to be your <laughs> own show. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm putting, <laughs> I'm putting a little uh, Parmesan <laughs> cheese in here. That was a joke. <laughs> For some. Yeah, so Max Max good. wanted to get going on the politics thing. I go, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. Look, he's caught up in my cord. All right, so oh this is no. good. This is good. I got a couple minutes. Let's sit down, shall we? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my chair. Why does this happen? Because Lynn always does it. <laughs> why does my chair have Lynn to leave moves here? Lynn Stand there in your dress. Why, no, why do you move my chair from here? Because it's in the shot. <sighs> it makes perfect sense. We've got like, uh, we got five, six minutes before Obi anything Obi-Wan Kenobi to happen. over there? Well, well, then just grab the chair. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, just. You want me standing no, here? No, no, no. What do you do? We can bring Go you sit. back. We're okay. Go sit. Just grab the chair. It's all fucking. <laughs> oh, Wait. my God. I hate this. Well, guess what? We Oh, Sam, you unplugged me. Fucking hell. <laughs> All right. This is going to... Okay, we're making changes. We're all good, everybody. Oh. No, we're making changes. To what? I'm going to talk about it what after. What are you freaking out? Are you really that upset that the no, chair was moved? The chair's moved. Nobody wants me to sit down. I, what do you I can't want? get I this. There's nothing wrong with you sitting down. <sighs> Take a breath. All The only thing you're upset about was the chair being moved, and it's not a big deal. Look at John, you're right. Sam, stop whining. That's uh, true. Uh, we have some pictures to look at. We do. <clears throat> University of London. 
Pathology Museum does this thing each year called Eat Your Heart Out. Ah. And they make anatomically correct cakes and muffins and oh that's gonna be gross and things oh, wait no. can you explain yeah. what uh anatomically an- correct anatom- yes uh well body parts but because it's a pathology department that looks at bodies once they've died mm-hmm. these could be anything mm. right we yes. could be lucky we would be lucky if we, there were things as simple as like a heart oh god i thought you said it out could of be cake. lucky no Aww. so here's the first one this is a muffin it's a uh, maggot muffin. Ew. But it's an actual muffin. These are all completely edible. Delicious. But they really have maggots in them? No, those are cake maggots. Oh, okay. Ew. Right? But why would you want that? It's the Pathology Museum. It's fun Halloween. They sell these things, and they sell like thousands of pieces. Creepy. Yeah, I'm sure you are. How about this? How about the lung cake? Oh, oh delicious. I don't like that. <laughs> that thought doesn't look nearly as creepy as the other one. You want to know what's really creepy? What? The anus oh, muffin. No. Oh, no. Oh, really? Yeah. Change it. Change it. That's change horrible it. looking, change isn't it? it? Can we show this on live internet yeah, television? Yeah, of course. It. Okay, I'm going to change it if you're not. There you <laughs> nice. go. How about the cigarettes? The the, the edible cigarettes. Look how real that looks. Okay, that's a li- at least a little that less That ashtray? Ew. That's terrible. Yes. That one was really bad. Don't. I won't go back to that one again. I just said I'm not going to go back to it again. Good, okay. Okay, how about this? Ears. <laughs> Ears on sticks. Oh. <laughs> that is bad. Gross. Uh, Gross. And the last one in the spirit of Halloween is... Oops. Oh, no, two more. A little bag of feces. Ugh, just, no way. That looks like a yeah. liver. That That's like not. It's supposed to be crap. Ugh. And then I forgot to get one more after this. It's a herpy. Oh, oh. Okay. Herpy muffin? Gross. I don't get it. That is oh, unbelievable, ew. isn't it? Okay, uh, that's so gross. Ew. Jeez, okay, that was really bad. That was really bad. Hold on, let me check what's going on over here. Though admittedly, that's pretty talented to make wow. stuff like that. Come check out what I forgot. Oh, they oh burned. the 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 yes. pecans? Are they burnt? Uh oh, I'm coming. Burnt. Okay, you can pop it off, Shannon. Yeah, go that's ahead. That's not even close. Damn to it. it, the pecans were like my favorite thing. Yeah, well, I got other ones. I'm gonna be. Able yes, to okay. Oh. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's very Halloween esque. Surprised I didn't catch it on fire. This is welcome to welcome to uh, live cooking. Ooh, See, this nice. is what happens when you try to sit down, man. Just saying. Hey, man. Just saying. Come That's on. why he moves your chair. That's why. It's all because <laughs> of that effing chair, dude. <laughs> all right. So let me just try this once more. I'm right here. I'll turn this down. And now I'm going to put the pasta in. I'm going to put in the borsetti. The brie and ricotta with roasted garlic borsetti. So clearly I'm taking advantage of something that already has a bunch of flavor. I mean, no, I'm not making these things myself, of course. I could have just bought like a plain tortellini with cheese in it or chicken, but I fell in love with these shapes and then I love the idea of the creaminess of all the cheese in these. Mm. So in these are gonna go into this pot and they're all gonna take a, about two to three minutes because it's essentially fresh pasta. Done, right? We'll come back in two minutes. Somebody, please tell me when two minutes. Six forty-nine. What about your pastries, dude? I thought we were gonna be. Gr- uh, I thought we were gonna be brief tonight. Yeah. What about Apparently your pastries? Yeah. Oh, my pastries are, are almost there. Hold well, on. if you oh. didn't throw your hissy fit. It was like just really short. Hissy it was fit. a hissy fit. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been called out on it several times oh, on Facebook man. now. Oh. And yes, I'm going to march up the stairs after the live cast because I'm mad. You're not mad. Okay, no. Okay, we, nice. Check these guys. I think Dad's justified. Oh. I mean, Lynn, get the door. Lynn moved his chair. Hey, okay? Lynn, <laughs> did you write down your tally from last time? For yes. God's sakes, Lynn, you he moved, moved the chair. He moved his chair. Kelly, it's your turn to get the door. Oh, I could now that I'm pregnant. We got more kids. <laughs> it's not too embarrassing. We got more kids. <laughs> What'd they take? Okay, I actually have an interesting story of Halloween. Two chips. Chips are in the lead. Wow. Um, Mom, you might remember this. So if anybody out there doesn't know who Sean White is, he's an extremely famous uh, s- snowboarder who's uh, been on countless you know, American Olympic teams and won countless golds. And 
he actually grew up two streets down from here uh, and went to the same elementary school as I did. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. And my, my, our parents knew each other. We used to buy tons of old snowboard gear from him that he had grown out of for my brothers and I, right, Mom? Yeah. Cool. So one year, I probably, I'd say I was maybe uh, 11 or 12 years, uh, 10, 11 years old. Not old enough to the point where I was like going out for Halloween with my friends and doing our own thing, causing trouble, whatever. It was where I would stay, I would go out with my parents or something and then we were home early. So... It's like way late in the night, no more trick-or-treaters. We hear uh, the doorbell ring, and so I go to the door, and I open it, and it's Sean. It's like a 13-year-old a Sean White, who I knew <laughs> from elementary school, in a ballerina's outfit. Like no a complete, <laughs> full-on pink ballerina's outfit with a tutu and everything. Oh, wow. And he was like, hey, Max. And I was like, because he knew me from school, and I just remember being like, hey, like, Here's your candy. <laughs> Have fun and go. Like that was it. And <laughs> that was probably the last time that I ever had like a face-to-face -face interaction with him. And now, all these years later, he's probably the most famous, famous. snowboarder famous. in the yeah, world. But yeah, but he's found himself in a little pile of trouble recently. Has he? I don't know anything about that. Yeah, what was it? He got in some big old. Oh, we got a picture fight. of Sean right here. Here he is. You want to see the, the picture? And he had red hair like that back shot. in the How day. About this? Yeah, I'll get his mugshot. Okay. Right. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what he did. Okay. And while you're getting that, go to Diane's post right now on Facebook. Okay, that hold on. Can might I, be the okay, let me okay, just wait. stop. Okay, First, let me stop. I got to do this. Okay. Okay, so the pasta's done, right? So we're just going to drain it from here, put it right into this uh, pumpkin, sage, cream sauce component deal over here. We're going to mix it up, and then we're going to serve it up. Nice. Left right Beautiful. Here. I left one. Sorry, dude. My bad. Okay. Okay, you're gonna die. Diane's thing, this prosciutto skull, is. Look at it, Sam. Disgusting. Ugh. Oh, that's prosciutto. What is that made out of? What are no, the teeth? It's prosciutto. That's amazing. You think that you're not disgusted by that? No, no, I am. But out of all the things that Dad showed, that might top the list. Wow. Okay, and she so wait. She says it's my prosciutto skull, so she made that. Well, wow, that's wow. impressive, right? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Right, the pasta. That looks so good. Tossed with this little sauce. Nice. Yeah, that looks so amazing. So go right here. The little in a bowl. My new favorite bowls that I'm in absolutely in love with. Yeah, it's a plastic skull. And she puts the I'm prosciutto. I'm talking about the food. Thank you. I know. You were putting it in <laughs> the bowl. Thank you. I'm, thank you. It's Halloween. So a little bit of this, just a little bit of these pecans on top. Oh, yes. And these ones even got a little brown too, but I'm kind of digging that. I like, well, like that good. too, yeah. That looks it really good. Look yeah, good. it looks great. Right? That looks very fancy of you, man. Come on. I mean, it's maybe not master chef work, but <laughs> whatever. And here we have it with these little, the little muffins. Let's Dig try it. one. Beautiful. Let's, Let's try one. Let me just say a little shout out to our friends at We All of We All of .com, California certified extra virgin olive oils. You can be guaranteed that that's all they carry. Mm -hmm. It's all they carry. There's a big business out there of faking really good olive oils. They blend them, they mix them, they take normal stuff, they put it in a fancy bottle. They call them extra virgin. It's BS. We all have online or in any of their stores. Only California extra virgin certified. And if you go to shop now, type in my name, Sam, you get 10% off anything that you buy. Nice. We like them a lot. Weallof.com, promo code SAM, 10% off. Did I not just say that? You know what? It's did actually... I, was I just, wait, was I just not clear enough when I know, did that? You know, maybe you don't know much about um, radio, but you know what? If you listen to any single radio advertisement, how many times do they repeat that? Are oh, you right. They repeat Do they repeat lot. the important information at the end? Okay. I'm excited for this. Me too. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Hot butt. I gotta give Shannon a bite. <laughs> Yay, I get a bite. Shannon. Really nice, um, really nice pumpkin flavor. But you just get that little hint of the sage in there. Oh my. That's worth making again. Oh, Sam. How good is that, awesome. right? Mm-hmm. Oh my really god. Really good. Really okay, good. I want you to make a M. 
It doesn't just have to be for Halloween. Mm. Obviously, there's pumpkin around for the next few months. Use that. I don't know why I made these. I got these stupid things in my head <laughs> at some point today. And <laughs> yeah, what are they for? I don't know. This just is a dip just in. pointless. It was pointless. But you know what? They're kind of cute. Okay. Thank you for being here. We love it that you are. Thank you to everybody that's watching for the first time. I will not be wearing my Chinese cuisine hold on, training facility outfit tomorrow night. And Kelly will, well, she's already taken off the wig. She threw the cards in way early. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Watch us on Stitcher Audio. Watch us on iTunes. Watch us on Roku, our own channel. You can watch the past 30-ish episodes. We'll be here tomorrow night with something fun. Anybody on the East Coast, we're thinking about you. Take care. I hope all your shit works out for you. See you guys. Thanks a lot.